about how to make money through blogging without any AdSense. So, here's the thing. A lot of people are tied up with the way you make money uh, through blogging is through AdSense. I'm here to tell you that it is one of the most limited ways to actually make money on your website. Now, am I saying that it's a bad idea? No, absolutely not, because there are some business models where that is 100% workable for you and how that actually works, right? But there are a lot of other business models and there are a lot smarter ways of going about doing this. The question is, how do you do that, okay? So there's a number of different ways. I was looking through some blog posts just to try and, try and get some ideas, and I do want to touch upon them, just so you know that I've done a little bit of research, and then I'm gonna give you my actual opinion based on my experience on what's best to do if you want to blog to try and make money without using AdSense. So the first few ideas that I came across were things like you know becoming a consultant, um, which is probably one of the better ideas I could honestly suggest, but becoming one is actually very, very difficult. You have to prove that you are an authority at that particular space in order to get that kind of a gig, and there just aren't a lot of them going around, but it is a great idea to aim for long term. Become a public speaker is another one that I came across, and I'm not 100% sure I agree with that either, because here's the thing, the people who like writing are typically people who don't like standing in front of crowds, in front of people. They don't want to do videos, and that's the reason they're blogging in the first place, because they can sit there and get their message out through writing, right? So it's not necessarily public, um, but public speaking being a great idea. On the other hand, perhaps maybe writing and selling an ebook based around the topics that you blog around. That might be a great idea because it's already in your strengths to be able to write, right? So writing an ebook makes 100% sense. And because it's a digital platform, meaning your blog is online, right? You could actually sell an ebook that's based upon that. Uh, another idea is to actually write a book based on the accumulative cumulat knowledge that you actually have. I, I write this, I say writing an ebook is, is easier. It's a lot easier to write and get out there than having a book that's actually published. I'm not saying it's something that you don't aim for, but it is a way of getting the idea out there. Um, I would honestly suggest getting an, an ebook done first because you can, you can write it out very quickly, you can publish it as a PDF, then you can upload it to different sites that can, other people can help to promote for you on top of you actually selling it through your blog itself. Self, okay. Another idea that I came across was getting people to guess, uh, guest blog, uh, providing guest blogging uh, services, right? So people offer to pay you to write on your blog because you're getting a certain amount of specific traffic that they want to be able to redirect to their website. That's another money making opportunity. Another way is asking for donations. Yes, this is a way of, of making money online, um, especially through blogging without AdSense. But the thing is with that is that you're relying and hoping that people out of their own goodwill will actually give you money, which is not a very reliable thing. There is a reason why places like Salvation Army have been around for hundreds of years and they're actually out there asking for pe asking people for money on the actual streets instead of doing something online, okay? You can sell merchandise is another idea that I came across. I do like the idea, but you have to build a brand before you're actually going to sell that merchandise. And let's think about it. Merchandise is a very visual thing. A blog ne isn't necessarily, right? So getting people to purchase merchandise simply through blogging is probably not a very likely possibility. Yes, it's a possibility, but not a very likely one, okay? So how do you go about making money then? What, what would I actually suggest? Obviously, I've recommended consulting already. Yep, but there's few of those gigs and they are difficult to get to. What I would honestly suggest is optimizing your blog, changing your mindset for what it is that you're actually using your blog for. A lot of people use their blog to try and sell products from there. No, people come to blogs, if you think about it, to gather information. They're there because they've liked something that you've written. They've, they're there to read an article that you put out that's ranked on one of the websites, right? So they're actually there to learn more about something in particular. So <clears throat> changing our mindset about how we about go about things, meaning the way we look at things. So in other words, our blog, instead of using our blog to try and sell products, why don't we try and use it as a lead generation tool, right? And you're sitting there thinking, what the hell are you talking about? What I'm actually referring to is creating an opt-in, using something that you can give away for free for people who are actually on your website, for what it is that they actually enjoy, <clears throat> and figuring out a way to gather those emails. Because using those emails, gathering that email, building that email list, 
is going to allow you to build up a following, right? People who are really truly interested in what it is that you're actually doing. And once you build up a big enough following, that's when you can get into consulting, right? Once you build up an email list, that's when you can actually sell an ebook, right? Instead of trying to sell it straight off your website. So again, it actually requires a mindset shift. And this was a mindset that I was in once upon a time as well, where I actually thought my website was all about selling things. So I would have, you know, like products to buy or work with Sam and that sort of stuff, you know, where people can click on and purchase things that I recommend or that I would suggest that they get. And that's fine. I do actually have that. But the actual odds of getting a sale on that, I remember looking up the numbers once, was like less than 0.2%, right? So out of a thousand people that, that come to your website, you know, you're going to get like two people that might buy something, maybe, okay? So what's much higher is an opt-in. You get an opt-in rate of anywhere between 20, 10 and 50% if you know how to do content upgrades. And if you don't know how to do that, that's cool. Check out the link in the description below where I'll send you to another YouTube video where you can learn how to do that 100% free. I'm going to teach you everything that I know through this YouTube channel. So you make sure that you subscribe, okay? So what you want to do is provide content upgrades where people can opt in to find out more about you and your products and your services instead of trying to sell them directly on your website because it's been proven, right, that it doesn't work. Okay, it just does not work as a blogging model. Okay, so the better way to make money without blogging and using AdSense is to create, to turn your blog into a lead generation machine because from that you can start building your following which will allow you to get into consultation. It will allow you to sell your ebook that you could write. You know, it could allow you to sell your courses that you choose to build in the future. It allows you to create your fan base because these people who actually reached out, they've gone beyond coming to your website, they've gone beyond consuming your content to actually opting into what it is that you have to offer. So they are very, very interested in you and what it is that you have to offer, okay? So look, all of these ideas that I've talked about, yes, they're all plausible ideas, they're all possible ideas, but I wanna give you what is actually reality, okay? And the reality is, is that you should turn your blog, right? You should turn your blog into a lead generation machine. I encourage you to go to my website and see if you can actually find anyone there, uh, anything there where I'm actually trying to sell something. No, I'm trying to get people to opt in so I can build my email list because that's what seven and eight figure earners tell you to do in order to make the money. It, when seven and eight figure earners, in other, in other words, people that make anywhere from one million, one million to $25 million a year tell you to build an email list, right, in order to generate your income and you'll actually make money from blogging and, and you know, building your business and all that sort of stuff, you bet your ass I'm going to listen to them, okay, because they've made a lot more money than me. They know exactly how it works. So if they're telling me that's what I should do, then I'm going to recommend that that's that's what you do, okay? I'm talking about big guys like Evan Pagan, Russell Brunson, Frank Hearn, all of these marketing legends. When they tell you that that's what you should do, then 100% that is what you should do. You should listen to the guys that are very successful at what it is that they're doing, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you're new to the channel, do go ahead and subscribe. I will pump out daily content teaching you what online marketing is all about, especially lead conversion, okay? And more importantly, if you're already a subscriber and you're just watching this video again, thank you so much for all your support. You know how much I appreciate you. Thank you again. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if the, if the video provided you some value and share it if you absolutely can. All right, so thank you so much for your time. Take care, much love, and I'll see you in our video tomorrow.